Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'll be talking about Ubuntu Touch and their latest OTA 6 release, and also be looking at what's new with apps and things outside of the main Ubuntu Touch OS. Mostly, there haven't been too many uh, changes that I can really show. So I'm going to talk about this first part uh, just by looking through their uh, blog post. Most of the fixes for OTA 6 have to do with their newest morph browser, such as um, you know, like reCAPTCHA says browser not supported. Um, very minor but uh, stability focused here. Um, nothing, nothing too crazy but things that may only show up when if you really use the browser a lot. Things that didn't make it here still are the Nexus 5 still freezes when you try to take multiple pictures. Um, again, it's only specific devices that are affected here. Same goes with all these, these other issues here. It's always just specific devices and not an overall issue with the, with the core OS. I'm going to post links of the blog post in the description below to get you guys a better idea of what's new and, and what's working. So moving on to the uh, Ubuntu phone itself, I'm going to show you probably the biggest, um, I think the most important newest app here is uh, the Sprint app. And so the Sprint app is a new, more traditional mobile, um, I would say desktop environment even. Um, it looks more similar to you know Android iOS. And this is something that I was surprised because um, I was expecting this to come later down the line, you know, when core things about the OS are fixed. But um, it looks like this new environment is available now to a degree. It's more of a, a demo, really. I don't think it's quite too usable. And obviously, as you're seeing here, you can add new apps. You can't really, normally you'd be tempted to drag an app and move it to a different position, but you can't, it's not as, as smooth and intuitive just yet. This is still very much a work in progress, but I was really surprised to see it. And ultimately I would prefer this layout than the, the more traditional layout they have there. Before, even with this app, you could have changed the icons, but this you can change the icons here and it just kind of got me it kind of introduced me that i could change icons here in the first place and um i think this is a good thing um you know i expect to see even more icons icons come down and again it just adds a lot more to the os experience you know for the average user especially But it's definitely one of the more exciting apps here. Another app that's popped up is yet again another Twitter app, uh, but this one works a lot better. It takes advantage more of, of you know of the entire screen, and the text appears a lot bigger. So I think it just makes for a much better experience. Um, it's one of my out of like the four or five Twitter apps. It's probably my favorite now. So I'm going to go to my profile so you can see how it's looking here. And that's not my real birth date. If you guys were wondering. Then another one too that if, I'm, if you've used Ubuntu Touch before, especially an earlier version, this is one of my, my more favorite games on here. I love tower defense games a lot and that's the power of open source someone published this on a previous version of Ubuntu but with 16.04 it wasn't working quite right so when someone grabbed the code updated whatever needed to be updated and published it here for this latest version so it's a game really fun game check out um, and again for a smartphone at least for me I don't really need to play the, anything crazy this is pretty much good enough for me in terms of a mobile game because you know you gotta conserve that precious battery life so let's exit out of that and here i'm gonna just mess around with landscape mode here 
all right so another new app here that i think it's very neat is this sound recorder works very well and it's it's a very nice clean ui very modern looking um you can tell a lot of work went into it and uh, let's check out their about here you you can donate um to the creator yeah it's just a, again it doesn't do much very simple but i think it's a just a very nice looking app and um I expect to see a lot more of these kind of apps show up here you know especially the look and feel i expect them all to just start improving more and more there's another web app um these web apps may become less important until there's a way to just automatically create one with the browser but for those of you pc enthusiasts there's this pc part picker app that showed up of course duolingo has been here for a while and duolingo just recently like with the recent versions of this just started working and again i think this is one of those apps where you could probably use it on a browser and gotten it to work perfectly but this web app version has been published on the open store works pretty good now here you can see me learning some german but all right enough of that another other two big major apps are the lyft and uber apps i did not expect these apps to have a web version of them but apparently they do and um, i haven't really tested how, how well they work now but the fact that it's possible to get it to work is a good thing because that was one of the key things that ubuntu touch didn't have is ride sharing apps alongside a snapchat app and I didn't think it was even possible because I didn't expect there to be web versions of Lyft and Uber. But the fact that it appears that they do is a very good thing. Because now really the only thing that I don't see is the Snapchat app. And I don't think they have a web version, but who knows, maybe I'll see one pop up on the open store. The Ting app, which is a mobile service, and then there's Dropbox. Also, I haven't really tested the Dropbox feature of it. But the fact that it's there and it's a possibility that I could get work, be working there is a good thing. One thing I haven't covered is the email app Deco2. I think this is a very uh, interesting app because it um, has a phone OS. An email app should be something that should be included. It's just an, it's considered an essential app. This is Fluffy Chat. This is a Matrix Chat and um, it's a very nice looking app actually. A lot of work goes into this. I haven't really tested this too much, but again, just uh, the fact that it, it exists and it does work is a very good thing. Looking at the UT tweak tool, you can also see that a new feature is scaling and this will scale the text. And this is something I was looking for because especially on the messaging apps, the scaling is a bit on the makes the text look kind of small for my taste. There's a flaw with this scaling feature though, is that it scales the text everywhere. So it ends up making the apps bigger, the app icons bigger. So on the main uh, apps uh, menu, three apps per row rather than four. So that doesn't end up looking too pleasing. This is uh, promising though, and hopefully it can get better and let you just maximize fonts for maybe specific apps. So there you guys have it. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.